Welcome along. We begin our roundup of week 34 in Bordeaux, where champions PSG grabbed a narrow win on Sunday to edge closer to Ligue 1 Conferama's all-time points record. Avon Sariola made eight saves as PSG resisted the Girondin, who had 21 shots on goal. Paris only had two attempts on target, but one of them was the winner. Giovanni de Celsa with his fourth this season. PSG are up to 90 points, six shy of the record they set two seasons ago. Well, Monaco failed to bounce back from last weekend's 7-1 thrashing at the hands of PSG as they went down 3-1 to an impressive Gangar. It didn't help the Principality side to have Jemison sent off on 20 minutes for deliberate handball, getting in the way of this Marcus Turam effort. Jimmy Briand converted the resulting penalty to move to within one goal of Gangon's league on scoring record, his ninth of the season. Etienne Dido then scored one of the goals of the season as he volleyed in a Clement Grenier corner. How about this for a hit? Simply sensational stuff from Dido to make it 2 0. Turam, the son of former France legend Lillian, then made it three early in the second half after good work from Nicolas Benazet and a clever dummy from Briand. His third of the campaign. Armami Toure did pull one back for Monaco with their only shot on target in the game. From this, Thomas Lamar free kick, but it finished 3-1 to Gangon. Well, Lyon are now just a point behind Monaco in third after putting five past Dijon at the stand at Gaston Girard. Memphis Depay opened the scoring on four minutes with his 15th of the season, but Dijon got one back as Naeem Sleety fired in from distance. The Tunisia winger with his fourth of the campaign. Lyon restored their lead five minutes into the second half. Good work here from Raphael out on the right. Hussam Awar's effort turned into his own net by Valentin Rosier. Three minutes later, Nabil Fakir made it 3-1. The Lyon captain with his 17th of the season in his first start since February. But Dijon are a tough nut to crack, especially on home soil. And Sleety brought them back to 3-2 two minutes later after Rosier's ball across from the right-hand side. The host should probably have been awarded a penalty shortly afterwards, but nothing doing, said the referee. Instead, Bertrand Traore made it 4-2 to Lyon. And Maxwell Cornet rounded things out as Lyon scored five on the road for the fifth time this season. That is now six wins on the bounce for Bruno Genesio's side. Marseille responded to Lyon as they also put in a five-star performance against relegation-threatened Lille. Florian Tovan got the party started on 12 minutes, heading in his 18th of the season. He then got his 19th from the penalty spot after Dimitri Payet was brought down by Hamza Mendil. The Marseille captain allowing his France teammate to do the honours. And absolutely no mistake from Tovan. Kostas Mitroglu got involved on 35 minutes, heading in a Jordan Amavi cross for 3-0. And the Greece striker also doubled up three minutes later after being set up by Lucas Acampos. In spite of a fair amount of criticism this season, he's up to eight goals for the campaign. Yassine Benzia did pull one back for Lille early in the second half, a first of the season for the Algeria international, but it was a rare silver lining for the visitors. Acampos rounding out a 5-1 win for Marseille to put them level with Lyon. Perfect preparation for Thursday's Europa League semi-final first leg against Salzburg. Nice are up to fifth place, their highest position of the season after a 1-0 win of a fellow European hopefuls Montpellier. Pierre Lesmoulou firing in the game's only goal on 59 minutes, his fifth of the campaign. Nice have lost just one of their last nine league outings, while Montpellier have won just one of theirs. Saint-Étienne extended their unbeaten run to 12 league games as they came from behind to beat Troyes. Adam Nyan gave the struggling visitors a surprise early lead after fine work from veteran captain Benjamin Nive. But super sub Robert Berich turned things around for Lever in the space of just five minutes. The Slovenian first heading in a Roman Hamuma free kick. And he then finished off a sweeping counter-attack to move up to seven goals in 12 games since his return in January. Saint-Étienne have gone from 16th to 6th since the start of the year. Wren slipped to seventh as they drew with Western rivals Nantes, but they were rather lucky to come away from the Beaujois with a point. The Canaries dominating the first half and going ahead through Adrian Thomasson. But after Nantes had their top scorer Emiliano Salas sent off early in the second half, Wren equalised at nine minutes from time through James Lea Saliki. 
Nantes have now failed to beat their rivals in nine league meetings and eight on home soil. Amiens all but guaranteed their survival with an impressive victory over Strasbourg. Thomas Moncondry but the host ahead after Serge Gakpé put his body on the line. The Togo International lost consciousness and had to be stretched off, but luckily there was no major damage done. Harrison Manzala got the second for Amiens after being teed up by Quentin Cornet, his third of the season. And Cornet, who recently returned from a serious leg injury, then set up Kyle Kakuta for 3-0. Strasbourg did get a late consolation goal through Idris Sadi, but that is now nine games without a win for them. 3-1, the final score. Toulouse won by a two-goal margin for just the second time this season as they got the better of an out-of-sorts Angers. Yaya Sonogo turning in Max Alan Goodell's cross for the opener just before half-time. Sonogo then won a second-half penalty, his side's 11th of the season, as he was brought down by Roman Thomas, who injured his knee in the process. Gradel stepping up and doing the honours to secure a 2-0 win. Finally, bottom side Mess looked to be heading for a vital win at home to Caen after finally breaking the deadlock on 71 minutes. Damien de Silva turning into his own net. But Caen avoided a fifth straight league defeat as Jesse Dimange scored a fantastic bicycle kick two minutes later for his first Ligue 1 Comparama goal. Cristiano Ronaldo, eat your heart out. 1-1, the final score. So all the results from week 34 with 32 goals scored. Big wins for Lyon and Marseille, but Monaco going down 3-1 at Gangon. Saint-Étienne and champions PSG both extending their unbeaten runs to 12 games on Sunday. Now just look how tight it is in the battle for those two Champions League spots in second and third. One point separating Monaco, Lyon and Marseille. Sixth place is also likely to become European, assuming that PSG get the better of third till is Elbier in the French Cup final. That win for Toulouse has pushed them four points ahead of Troyes, who remain ahead of Lille on goal difference. Metz, who have been bottom since August, could still put off a great escape. Caen and Toulouse face off on Wednesday in a rearranged fixture from week 33. Week 35 kicks off as Saint-Étienne head to Montpellier on Friday, while Lyon and Monaco are both in action on Saturday. Lille hosts Metz in a vital relegation six-pointer, while Sunday sees Europa League semi-finalist Marseille go to Angers and PSG host Gangon.